One thing I wanted to do is I wanted to do a assist feeding tutorial with you guys. I know every species is a little bit different. This is something I want to do with Malagasy cat eye snakes. These animals are eating fine on their own, but I know folks that assist feed adults. It's really easy with these guys and you can pretty much use it with any species. Some may be a little bit tougher than others, but you'll get the gist. So here we go. So I'm gonna grab the animal. Now these guys are rear fang venomous. They're not anything that you really need to be that concerned with. I do take care and caution with them, but they are not uh, an aggressive species. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the head like this. I've got my pink right here. Make sure you got a good up on the head and you kinda, kinda weasel it in. There you go. So now she's got it, they're rear fangs, so she sunk her, her fangs into the animal. Now I'm just gonna gently put her down right here and watch her finish it down. That's pretty much it. You gotta make sure that they actually clamp down on the head of the pink. Once that happens, you gently put them down in maybe a tub or back in their cage. Um, I typically do it uh, by putting them back in their tub, but their mulch is not very contrasting with the baby, so for the sake of you guys being able to see the animal a little bit better, I decided to put her in a tub. But you see how quick they, they guzzle these things down. So I've done this with chondros and it works fine with chondros. I've done this with carpet pythons. It's worked fine with carpet pythons. I've done this with a uh, few other species and I really haven't had any issues. The only animals that I've had a r real problem doing this with have been candoya. So I don't know what it is about candoya boas, but they are pretty picky eaters, so I struggled whenever I cis fed my uh, Candoya pulsani. Um, I had a hard time with those guys. And my Candoya carinata carinata. Both of those species, I never really had much success assist feeding. But with these and several other pythons and a few boa species, I've done really well with. So one thing I do want to point out is, you know, while these guys are rear fang venomous, um, I do exercise pretty good caution with them. Um, I wouldn't treat any venomous species this way. Uh, these guys have a mild uh, venom and there haven't been any known um, fatalities or even from my understanding, hospitalizations from a bite from these guys. And I don't really know, I do know, um, have a friend that produced these. He was bit by a baby one time had no problems whatsoever. So I just, you know, I guess I kind of treat them with respect, but I kind of look at them as kind of a unique colubrid species, which they are, but they do have a, a mild venom. And if you had an allergic reaction, I guess there could be a possible complication, but really assist feeding is pretty easy. It's not all that hard. Um, it's very common with this species to have to assist feed. Uh, babies. This male is actually taking them fine on his own, but I wanted to uh, demonstrate how to assist feed properly. And again, you can kind of tailor that to any species that you work with. Malagasy cat eye snakes are really cool. If you guys remember my first episode that I had uh, with Glenn Brooks, these babies came from him. So this is what happens when I do uh, shows on species I don't work with. I sometimes come home with animals I didn't plan on coming home with. I would advise you if you are gonna work with this species to make sure and check your, your state laws and make sure that you can keep them. Um, some laws like New York don't allow any 
venomous reptiles, regardless of how dangerous that venom is to humans. Just something that I would say be aware of and be careful of if you're going to purchase these guys because the last thing you want to do is purchase an animal that has a very mild venom that is not harmful to a humans but then to get flagged with illegally housing a reptile that your state doesn't permit you to keep. Do your homework, that's basically what I'm saying.